Apple did it again. Now we have two MacBook Airs and both of them are great. So again, I say the same, I stand behind my words. The M1, which is this one, this laptop, is great. It's really, is all you need is performance wise, this laptop has it all, has a great battery life, has a great like design, it's, it's fantastic as a computer. It's really, really powerful. For graphic design, you don't need more stuff. I made many videos of the options you have between the MacBook Air, which is you have different configurations. And then I made a video recently between the Air and the uh, 14 inches MacBook Pro. The problem between the 14 inches MacBook Pro and the Air is the huge difference in price. The 14 inches is way more powerful than the Air, but still the Air for design is more than enough. With the new Air, you get a new design, you get a better screen, slightly better, slightly bigger screen, and also better screen, better panel. You also get a better camera. Guys, the camera to me is a big thing because I'm always on meetings. So this camera is 720, is good enough. But if you think about it, when you buy the computer, you are buying it for many years. You are not buying it for two years. You wanna have it, the computer, at least unless you wanna change the computer every, every three years, the computer can last, I estimate this one is gonna last eight to 10 years. That's the amount of years you could use this laptop unless something goes wrong, but I think this is pretty good for, for that, that amount of years. And I know what you are thinking. You are thinking, if you wanna buy a computer, because I've been there buying computers, and the only thing I was thinking is, is the total amount. I'm like, oh no, I want to spend as less as possible. You wanna spend $1,000, you wanna spend 800. You, you, the less you spend, the better. You think you got a deal, right? But this is not how you have to buy a computer. You have to see it differently. So instead of looking at the total amount, just see it as, as an investment over eight years. It could be 10, but let's put eight. So if you divide the price of the laptop between eight years and you divide those years between the days, you will see that what you pay a day for having a, such a powerful machine is not that much money. More or less, it would be 365 by eight years. That would be nearly 3,000 days, 2,920 days. So if I go to the MacBook Air, if I would buy the new MacBook Air, the M2, I would definitely start with the one on the right. As usual, I said this in my other videos, 256 gigabyte of SSD is not enough for professional work, especially if you're gonna use it for eight years, you are definitely gonna regret buying that one. So at least if you're really tight on a budget, 512, at least start with this one. So I will select this one, and then I will do the configuration I think is the best one, which is, 16 gigabytes of unified memory. You could go 24, but I think it's better if you spend those 200 extra on the SSD and you get one terabyte of SSD, which is what I said in all my videos. So now we have a total of, let's say $1,900. So if I divide 1,900 between 2,920, let's see what happens. You will pay 65 cents a day for the next eight years, 65 cents. Just think about it. Every day you wake up, 65 cents every day. That's the difference it makes. This is how you need to look at when you buy a computer, something that is gonna last for a very long time. If you have budget issues, at least also keep it in mind. So if you need to you know, stretch a little bit, it's gonna be worth it because this computer is gonna last for a very long time and it's really powerful. That doesn't change the fact that I believe the M1 is still a great computer. So if you will actually just, you don't mind about the camera, you don't care about the new design, you still want to buy the uh, MacBook Air, the M1, which is the one I've been recommending in all my other videos. So now we add again 16 gigabytes of memory RAM and then we go for, if you're on a budget, let's say, you put 512 and then you have $1,400. If we go again to the calculator, it's 47 cents. So with the M2 new design, 
one terabyte of SSD, 16 gigabytes of memory RAM, like an amazing computer, fresh, new, mass safe, two ports free, everything you pay every day. Just imagine this every day, 65 cents. With this one, you will pay 47, 48 cents, almost 50 cents. You need to consider to weigh these two options. Like, okay, can I stretch myself a little bit, pay a little bit more for the other one, get the latest, something that is the N2, has better graphics performance. No graphics project design work, but more graphics in terms of if you wanna do gaming or wanna do video editing. If you wanna do video editing, the N2 is more powerful than the M1. And quite a bit more because it has some encoders or something really good. I don't, I don't wanna get into details, but it's better. So these are the options, guys. So I still recommend if you can afford, stretch yourself a little bit, go for the N2, it's a better choice. I wouldn't wait for the, or get the 14 inches MacBook Pro. It's no need, guys. It's just, seriously, this is really, really good. And if you are doing video, uh, then the M2 is a fantastic choice. And it's still the air, has no fans. It's never gonna make noise. It's still, for me, it's the best value laptop there is and the M2 is even better because it's better screen, better everything. This is my take on the laptops. I know you keep asking me this thing, but again, I keep recommending them. One is fantastic computer. If you're gonna stretch a little bit more, M2, really good choice. You don't need the M1 Max, you don't need the Studio, all that stuff, you don't need any of that. So thank you again, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Ciao.